Hey, John with Alfred Homesteading. It is February the, well, I believe it's the 10th. Um, just because we took a day off yesterday. Kelly was under the weather, um, got the flu or something, had a temperature. So uh, just kind of nursed her yesterday while I just worked on a few things inside. Um, researched how in the world to get rid of our uh, two pieces of foam, you know, and all these pieces of foam here and here. Um, and what I found is you can actually use a wire um, that is on a power supply uh, to slice right through the uh, these foam blocks. So it was going to cost over here. These are about 14 inches wide. So I looked at uh, you know at least $500 to come in and to uh, put foam, you know, three inches deep, two inches deep, whatever, all the way through um, all of these. So I thought, well, we have these foam pieces up here. They're about 22, 24 inches wide. Why don't I just slice them down so that I can use that material and not waste it? Because we have to get rid of it anyway. We don't need it on top of the trailer. So <clears throat> what uh, I've done is I've ordered uh, Nicryl wire where I can literally um, put this hot wire up there and just uh, make it actually slice right through. Uh, you can see some other videos on YouTube about this but I'll be doing that video here shortly um, on how to actually get through and, and slice these things. So I'll get you know eight or ten pieces of, of, uh, of uh, foam out of this and that'll, that'll take care of a couple of them. We'll get a bunch out of that one, a bunch out of that one, a bunch out of that one, and a bunch out of the other one that's right there. So we should get most of the insulation for the flooring done um, <clears throat> here shortly. So what I'm going to need to come in and do is uh, after I didn't do the, the hurricane ties yet, so I've got to finish getting the ties and stuff done. But I need to put a board, some sort of a, a board or strip down here so that 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 uh, foam can actually sit right into the cavity. So I'll have to do that. That's why we put right here, all these little center beams we did halfway down. That way the foam could actually sit on top of it. I thought we'd do about uh, three and a half to four inches, but we'll see. I need to calculate to see how deep I need to be to make this all work. I think uh, two to three inches should be uh, sufficient for the floor. Keep our heat from going down there. So. Anyway, anyway, I'll let I'll put a link into what the wire is um, in the description, and that'll be coming on Tuesday through Amazon Prime, and then um, by that time I should have everything else tied down in here, have electric, uh, a spool of wire actually run in here along with PEX. But today I'm going to do another video, um, but you'll see a video where my friend Paul is going to be coming over and over. Not this way, but here's the trailer. Um, back <clears throat> behind here at the neighbor's land. Back behind that telephone pole way over there, about where that telephone pole is. Um, I'm going to be cutting the uh, the fence. If you already called the neighbor and got them, but I'm going to cut the fence right there. And there's a school bus sitting back here that we're going to bring in and bring around, and then park on this side. And then we'll probably use that for storage or you know a little school bus tiny house project down the road. So look for that video. It's a cold day today. I don't want to sit out here and do all the stuff. Uh, Today it's supposed to be snowing and sleeting and stuff later tonight, so I'll just deal with all this other stuff later. I'll go do a different project uh, today, just get something else done. Okay, thanks for joining us. Sorry we didn't get a video out yesterday, but um, you know, the flu called and we had to answer the door. All right, talk to you later.